welcome to the next video on know how series in this video we will understand about how the past transistors are cascaded so this is going to be the first part of the video wherein we are going to take a gate 2014 easy question paper so this is the question asked in the gate 2014 which is described as follows in the following circuit employing past transistor logic all n mos past transistors are identical with a threshold voltage of 1 volt the output voltages of p q and r have to be found out so the prerequisite for solving this particular problem will be understanding the past transistor logic the video on understanding the past transistor logic link is given in the description box below you can have a look into that and then come back solve this problem and the second prerequisite is cascading of past transistors so that will be the main objective of understanding the cascading of past transistors for this particular first part of the video we can see here that three n mos past transistors are cascaded one by one which means subsequent to each other we know the symbol of n mos is this wherein this will be our gate source and drain wherein at each of the drain outputs we are going to take the output p q and r we are at to find out what are the outputs p q and r and let us understand the symbol of n mos pass transistor is this with its terminals marked and we know that n mos pass transistor can pass strong zero and weak one since n mos pass transistors cannot pass strong ones they cannot be cascaded by connecting the output of one transistor as an input to the other transistor which means what i mean here is the drain terminal of one transistor cannot be connected to the gate terminal of another transistor this is the cascading problem so first in the first part of the video we will understand about the cascading problem and how not to cascade the past transistors and what is the correct way of cascading the past transistor from the statement i have mentioned we are now aware that we are not able to we are not supposed to connect in this way like connecting one drain terminal to the gate terminal of the other transistor understand that first let us recap the n mos pass transistor and why n mos is not capable of passing strong one instead of not capable of passing strong one what does that pass it is passing a weak one that weak one is represented by vdd minus vtn so to recollect this you can watch a video link that i'm sharing in the description box below of why n mos is not able to pass strong one and it is passing weak one and why p mos is capable of passing strong one so that video link i'll give it in the description box below for your reference here we have consider the example of two n mos pass transistors being cascaded so the first n mos transistor the gate voltage is vdd n mos pass transistor we know that it will turn on only for a high input voltage so vdd is being given so the n mos pass transistor first pass transistor is on now uh, input voltage the source voltage is vdd and since it is a pass n mos pass transistor it is not capable of passing the strong one instead of that there will be a threshold voltage drop this we have discussed earlier so this threshold voltage drop will add on together to give a vdd minus vtn since it is for the first pass transistor i will write it as vtn1 now consider this vdd minus vtn1 which is not a strong one so this is not a high input voltage this weak input voltage is going to turn on second n mos pass transistor therefore the second pass transistor will have a second voltage drop of vtn2 because this is the input from the gate terminal vdd minus vtn1 and add on to this will have a second voltage drop will be there so similarly if we are going to connect the other subsequent transistors suppose we are going to extend this gate and give a second third n mos pass transistor here and supply one more vdd here and then what will happen so it will try to continue the voltage drop will be continuing subsequently wherein which if we are going to try more number of transistors cascading so th that is why this is not the proper way of cascading the past transistor this can be understood better with specific voltage values because only then we will be able to understand the gate problem because there also we have specific voltages that is being given as 5 voltage and 
the threshold voltage dropped to be 1 volt was given so we will understand first the cascading problem with specific voltage values and then we'll move on for the correct approach of cascading the fast transistors now let us apply the specific gate voltages as 5 volt because it is bdd high input voltage only will turn on the nmos fast transistor and this vs also we are going to consider as vdd so therefore this also 5 volts now what will happen to the output of nmos pass transistor first this nmos pass transistor will turn on only when this condition is satisfied when vgs is greater than vt so here let vt be equal to 1 volt so therefore vgs is equal to vg minus vs which is 5 minus 5 which is equal to 0 volt therefore 0 is less than 1 volt so therefore the condition this is the condition to turn on but here what has happened vgs is less than vt therefore the n mass pass transistor 1 is in off condition so if it is an off condition recollect what we have seen in the previous video uh, the link also i have shared in the description box what will happen is it will try to retain its previous voltage value retains the previous voltage so therefore what would have happened this before this 5 volt would have reached here this would have been 4 volt so the previous voltage to retain is 4 volts would have been retained here so that is why we say this 4 volt as weak one and we denote it as vtd minus vdd minus vtn as 5 minus 1 is equal to 4 volt now the first pass transistor logic and its output is over and we have obtained the output as 4 volt here right now we will understand this 4 volt is going to pass to the second pass transistor and let us keep this vdd as 5 volt and understand what is going to be this vdd minus vtn1 or it is going to be vdd minus vtn1 minus vtn2 so now vs is 5 volt and vg is 4 volt when we need to check whether the second pass transistor is going to turn on or turn off so for that the condition is we need to check whether it is vgs is less than vt or greater than vt vg minus vs so it is 4 minus 5 that is going to be minus 1 volt that is obvious very obvious so vt is again 1 volt therefore minus 1 is less than 1 volt so therefore the n mass pass transistor 2 is again in off condition but what will be the voltage whether it will retain the drain output voltage as drain output voltage as 4 volts or what is going to be the output here because we need to understand one thing for very sure the previous 4 volt which we have obtained in nmos pass transistor 1 was the last voltage with which the nmos pass transistor was able to turn on now we will have to understand when this nmos second pass transistor would have turned on and retained what kind of previous voltage would it would have retained so that kind of analysis we'll have to do so for that let us analyze a little more deeper now let us consider this input gate voltage let it be 4 volt itself and let the source voltage be 4 volt so we are going to we are trying to reduce the source voltage and find out when this nmos pass transistor was on uh, we are going to find out the condition when it was turned on only then we can find out what was the previous voltage it is retained so therefore again find out what is vgs it is vg minus vs it is going to be 0 volt and our vt is 1 volt therefore vgs is less than vt so therefore again this n mass second pass transistor would have been in off condition only when vs was equal to 4 volt now we will still reduce the source voltage and see when was the transistor in on state especially this second pass transistor so now what we are going to do is again we are going to retain this vgs 4 volt only because that was the thing that we have received from the previous pass transistor and vs only we are trying to reduce so this is this vs 
initially we had it as 5 volt and again we have seen that the transistor was in off condition and we have seen with respect to 4 volt the transistor is again in off condition now we are going to what we are going to do we are going to reduce it to 3 volt now at least we are going to check whether this second pass transistor was on so therefore vgs it is bg minus vs it is 4 minus 3 1 volt therefore the condition is vgs is equal to vt and the n mass pass transistor because it has to be satisfying whether vgs is greater than or equal to vt so now it has satisfied equal to vt so therefore the n mass second pass transistor is turning on so finally we have made the second transistor to turn on now what will happen now if you change your vs to 4 volt and 5 volt we have seen that the transistors especially the second pass transistors were in off state so whenever the transistor is in off state it will retain the previous value so it will retain previous value so now let us understand what was the value that was stored previously when vs was equal to 3 volt so now what would have been the output drain voltage for uh, second pass transistor this is for pt2 it would have passed the vs which is equal to 3 volt so obviously the previous voltage that would have been retained is 3 volt now how can we write this 3 volt we can write it as vdd minus vtn minus vtn that is going to be 5 minus 1 minus 1 which is equal to 3 volt so this is how the threshold voltage drop will continue when we are trying to cascade more number of transistors so if we are going to cascade one more pass transistor that will emerge into one more drop of minus vtn so this kind of voltage drop is a bit annoying so we need to avoid this definitely and therefore we need to go for the proper way of cascading the pass transistors now this is the correct way of cascading the pass transistors wherein the output drain of first pass transistor has been given as the input source terminal of the second pass transistor similarly the output drain of second pass transistor is being given to the input source terminal of the subsequent pass transistors here we can see that all the gate voltages have not been disturbed and they are going to remain fixed this was not the case with the previous diagram which we have seen so wherein there we had the drain output to be connected to the next stage gate input so that was an improper way of cascading the pass transistors this looks much similar to our gate question problem so this must be the proper way of cascading the pass transistor and i am not going to leave you in that way i am going to give you the justification of how this is the proper way of cascading the pass transistor and how we are going to eliminate that multiple threshold voltage problems when we are trying to cascade more number of pass transistor so that justification and the gate problem we will see it in the second part of the video until then stay safe catch you all in the next know-how series thank you all for watching this video through electronics insight channel